it's Brittany here and welcome back to Brittany's Playroom. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are having an amazing day so far or night if it's nighttime where you are. So I'm back at you guys with another BJD body review. Um, and today's body review is going to be for the EID Eiffel House body. Um, so we're going to be reviewing this body type today. Um, and she is the largest of the EID Eiffel House dolls. So it may be this body, or it may be this body, or it may be this body. <laughs> so as you guys can see, I love Eiffel House, and I especially love the Eiffel House EID girls. Um, I think these are all the exact same body. Um, they're just all different color resin, and they're different sculpts. So I think what I'm going to do is just pick the doll that has the easiest outfit to remove, and we're going to review that body. I think it's going to be this one, because um, her outfit is going to be pretty easy to take off. So without any further ado guys, let's go ahead and get to this body review for the EID Eiffel House doll. Okay guys, so here we have the beautiful EID Eiffel House body that we're going to be reviewing today. Um, now this is the Rebecca Sculpt if anyone is interested. Um, the resin color for this particular body is called Peach Gold and I hate to be biased but this is actually one of my all time favorite. SD body sculpts. Um, this is a beautiful body to me. Now she does have some body blushing, so warning doll nudity for those of you who could possibly be offended by a naked doll. Um, but anyway, so this is one of my all-time favorite body sculpts. I love this body sculpt, um, and I suppose it's why I have three of them, <laughs> but in different sculpts, of course. So um, this is again the Rebecca sculpt and I'm going to give you guys a look at her. I absolutely love her. I think she's so pretty. Um, and the body is absolutely beautiful to me. I love everything about this body. I love the fact, I love just how they've sculpted the body um, all together. Now right out of the box, um, this body in my opinion could use a little bit of suading. I think she's great right out of the box. To make it a dream body, as with most BJDs, I do recommend suading the body. Either hot glue or leather suading to make it a perfect dream body. Now this body, particular body, has not been suaded. I wanted you guys to see what you're going to get right out of the box when you order an EID SD size girl. Um, she's 65 centimeters. She's the largest of the Eiffel House female dolls at the moment. Um, and we'll go ahead and start off with a review from top to bottom. So. Um, here is the head cap. As you can see, it says Eiffel House right there. It is partially magnetic, or actually it's fully magnetic. When you open the head cap, you have eye putty and an S hook holding the elastic in the back of the head. Um, and actually, I'm just gonna remove this because moving her around so much is probably gonna pop on and off. So we'll start off from top to bottom. And we'll start off with the head mobility. The range of the head movement is pretty nice. Um, without any suading or silicone disc, she will hold head poses. Um, they can look up okay. She can look down fairly nicely. Um, and she hasn't been suaded or silicone discs at all. Um, they don't really look up that far. They look up a little bit. They do look down pretty nicely. And they go from side to side. So a pretty nice uh, range of head motion there. Um, when we get to the shoulders, I love the way the shoulders and arms are sculpted. I think it's a beautiful sculpt. Now she will, may or may not hold a pose. Sometimes she will, sometimes she won't. You have to turn it. Of course, if you turn it this way, she'll hold that pose completely. <laughs> but she can go all the way up um, and she can go all the way around from side to side. Um, again, with suading, she'll be able to hold that pose with no problem because she's kind of heavy. These dolls are pretty heavy. Um, now, as far as the elbow, she is double jointed and she does have a peanut there. You just kind of pop that peanut into place and it actually has little grooves here on this particular sculpt, on the Eiffel House sculpts. And if you move, you can pop that elbow into any groove to hold a particular pose. So I love that. So she can do 
all of the face touching and ear touching and things like that. So I love that little detail of engineering in the peanut there for the arm. And I think that's really nice. As far as the wrist go, um, really, really nice movement in the wrist. Um, and I love the fact that they add this little piece right here, which covers the S hook. The S hook attaches from the hand to the elastic in the arm. And I love the fact that they added this little piece to cover that S hook. Um, so the hands are interchangeable and Eiffel House has the most beautiful hands in my opinion. She does have a manicure and she has been hand blushed. Um, but to me, they're, I mean, <laughs> the hands are just absolutely beautiful. I love them. I love them. So, um, really good motion in the wrist, really good motion in the elbow, um, perfect motion in the shoulder. Again, you would have to sway her to keep her to hold that upward arm pose. Um, now when we get down to the joint below the bust, now this particular joint, she does go back a lot. Of course, you're going to see that gap right there. And then there are these little pegs there that will hold um, a backward slouching pose. So she hasn't been suited at all and she'll just hold those poses, those backwards poses perfectly. Um, as far as slouching frontward, um, she can slouch frontward quite a bit. Um, and that's her slouching frontward. There is going to be a little gape there. Um, but there's also little ledges there on the back that'll hold those slouches. And you can hear the click when you slouch her. So every time you move her, she'll fall into a groove. And then when you go out all the way, you'll have a little gape there. But So she doesn't really need to be hot glued or suede there. She'll hold those little slouching poses. And she slouches forward quite a bit. Um, as you see there and then she'll slouch backwards all the way <laughs> so I love the range of mobility in the under best groove there um, for slouching and then of course from side to side she can just slouch all day long she's a great little sloucher um, so great great range of mobility as far as that goes under here I love that um, moving on down we get to the uh, to the little leg joint here. Now this, in my opinion, is my favorite part. Not really my favorite part, I love every part of the stall. But I'm gonna open this up and let you guys look. Um, it has a groove and click system. This is a little peg that comes out of the leg. And then as you can see inside, there are all kinds of little grooves that catch that whenever you move the leg. So every time you move the leg, you can hear click. And then once those pegs go into a click, it helps to hold that particular pose. Her leg is really heavy and uh, <laughs> and it's not really going to stay up without a little bit of suading because she's heavy. The resin is just so heavy, but I do love that. And it really helps her to sit as well. So when you're setting the doll down, she'll just stay in that click. And this is her sitting. I'm sorry guys, I'm just all over the place in this video. Um, so I really like the leg joint. I do however feel since the EID sculpt is so heavy that a little hot glue or leather suiting is gonna really help to keep that leg up. And because her leg is, leg is just so heavy. I mean, she's just such a heavy doll. Um, but that's how that particular joint works. It doesn't go this way any. There's elastic right here that really keeps the doll from being able to swivel a leg, which in my opinion I love because that makes them really, really good standers. She can stand amazingly well because her legs don't twist. Okay, so moving down to the knee. Um, the knee is of course a double jointed as well, so it is a peanut. I love the sculpting of the knees. I think they're so pretty. Um, and as you can see in the back, you can see the elastic, but that really doesn't bother me. Um, I just love the knees. Um, the peanut works just like with any other peanut. You pop it out and then you pop it that way and that gives you your leg pose. So this peanut is super easy to work with. The peanuts in these dolls is not fussy at all. Um, so you can or don't even have to suede them. They just kind of 
are easy to work. So I love that these peanuts are not that fussy. <laughs> you can bend their legs and their knees without any problem whatsoever. Now when we get down to the bottom of the feet, we're getting to the ankles at this point. Um, the feet are really nicely sculpted. I love the feet. Give you guys a look at those. She has the arch. Um, just really, really pretty sculpting on the feet. The feet can go almost all the way down. Um, really nice sculpting there. And then they go up a little bit. Um, so this would be a straight foot right here because these are high heeled feet and then this would be um, up. And I really should have brought the flat feet out because she comes with two sets of feet when you order these dolls. They come with a high heeled foot and then they come with the foot um, that's flat for flat footed shoes. Um, so pretty nice motion in the feet. Um, they are attached with an S hook and I'll pull it out a little bit for you. So you would just unhook that from the elastic and then hook the other foot in there when you wanted to do flat feet. It's really easy and simple to do. So all in all, would I recommend the EID Eiffel House body? Absolutely 100% yes. I love these bodies so much. And again, she has not been suede of any type. She hasn't been hot glued anywhere. This is what you would get right out of the box if you ordered an Eiffel House CID doll. I do have one that's suede, and let me tell you, she's a dream doll. She poses beautifully. She's amazing. But right out of the box, I still think these are amazing bodies, and I love them so much. And they're beautiful. I love all the detail work. You can see lines. You can see the belly button. You can see a little bit of... Uh, rib sculpting in there if you look close <laughs> I think that's done so beautifully um, you can see the bones in the back you can see the curvature um, I just I think these dolls are just sculpted perfectly I love that you can't see the elastic here in the lower leg or hip area um, to me these dolls are just I love them <laughs> I love these dolls so much so yes, I would definitely recommend the EID Eiffel House bodies. Um, I think they're beautiful and I think they're just great little posers. They are really heavy though, so if you want this body to be absolutely perfect, I do recommend suading, as with any SC size doll. So thank you guys so much for watching today. Um, I really appreciate you giving me your time. Um, and letting me review this body for you. I had a request and I wanted to make that happen. I love you guys to the moon and back and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.